Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is a stitch that, well, every beginner should know. And, well, it's a stitch that we like and we go back to it time and time again. This is the granny stitch, but uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this stitch like uh, going back and forth, not uh, like the, the granny square. So, this is, you can make a scarf. It's really nice. Especially if you use a thick yarn. It's really nice and goes really fast. This one goes really fast. And you can uh, work with uh, many colors if you like. It's reversible. The back and front is the same. It's really nice. Okay, this stitch, well, even for you guys a beginner, might uh, seem like it's a little bit different because uh, it appears like two rows repeat. But it's just the two rows repeat, it's just in the, in the beginning of the row and the end of the row. And you're going to alternate like, uh, like that. Yeah? So this stitch works with multiples of three. So you're going to chain multiples of three. And then we're going to skip the first two stitches. Uh, stitches. Well, the chains. The first chain, the second. And in the third, we're going to do two double crochet. We're going to do two double crochet in that chain. So go back into the same chain and do one more double crochet. Okay, now we're going to skip two. One, two, and in the third chain, we're going to do three double crochets in that chain. And go back into the same chain and do the second double crochet. Yarn over the hook and go back again into the same chain and do the third. And, well, be aware of, because it's pulling so many double crochets in one, it's going to pull the next chain, so make sure that you count uh, right. So again, we're going to spin, uh, skip, well, I feel like I'm speeding now. We're going to skip two chains, and in the third, we're going to do the same, three double crochets. It's a very easy, relaxing stitch. You can make blankets, all that. You can make so many things, even blouses looks really nice. So we're going to do three double crochets in that chain. Okay, again we're going to skip two chains, one, two, and in the third we're going to do the same, three double crochets in that very chain. I don't know, I hope I'm in the frame. Well, this month in March, Mercury is retrograde. For those of you that know something about astrology, Mercury is retrograde and I'm a Virgo, I'm ruled by Mercury. I, my brain doesn't work. I don't know. Okay, again, we're going to skip two. One, two. And in the third chain, we're going to do three double crochets. And like I said, only the... You're going to alternate the, the rows. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Okay, we have three chains left. One, two, and three. In the last one, we're going to skip two chains. In the last one, we're going to do the same, three double crochets. So you're going to repeat this row and then the next row. Okay, the last and the third double crochet in the last chain. It's going to look like this. And now we're going to chain three. Okay, turn your work. And, you know, the way you might remember some of you, each time you have the chain three and immediately you have this cluster of double crochet, try to remember this way. Skip to the first space between the cluster of double crochet when you have the chain on top of the, the double crochet here. Yeah? So yarn over the hook, move into the space between these clusters of double crochet in here, insert your hook in that space and do three double crochet. It's just the beginning and the end of the, the rows that might change. In the middle of the work, you're going to do the same. Okay, yarn over the hook and now skip this cluster of double crochet and move into the next space. And do three double crochet. It's very easy. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like I'm speeding. But, you know, the, the double crochet even you guys, the beginners, you should know before you start to attempt some stitches to do. Again, we're going to skip the three double crochet and you go into the space, yarn over the hook and go in there and do three double crochets. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I have a, a yarn that I have to retire. The poor yarn was worked so much that I'm thinking to do a, a blouse <coughs> with the, the granny stitch. So again, yarn over the hook, you move to the next uh, space in between the, the cluster of double crochet and you do the same. Three double crochets. Okay, now you skip this one and the space you're gonna do the same. Yarn over the hook and do three double crochets in there. And especially if you have a yarn that it's chunky or thick. Oi, this stitch goes so fast and you finish in no time. Okay, now we reach the end. Yeah, we have a double crochet, well it's the, the chain here. Yeah. So we're gonna finish with the with a double crochet in here. So you're gonna skip these two double crochets, one, two, and you have that chain that we skipped in the beginning. So you're gonna go on top of the in here and you're gonna do a double crochet. So go in there and do a double crochet. Again, always chain three. And now remember each time you have this uh, double crochet and a space between the first cluster that means in the first stitch here you're gonna place two double crochets now you repeat the first row that we when we started yeah so you're gonna put in there in the first stitch two double crochets now you're gonna move to the next space between the double crochet cluster yarn over the hook and you're gonna place in there three double crochets in the middle of the work you don't change anything, it's just in the beginning of the row and the end of the row. Okay, now you move to the next space between the double crochet clusters and you do three double crochets. And you keep alternating this, uh, these rows. Again, yarn over the hook, you move to the next space and you do three double crochets. Okay, now again you're gonna skip the, the cluster of double crochets and you move into the space here and you do the same, three double crochets. So now at the end we skip this cluster of double crochet and you have this uh, chain three. So again because we started with uh, let's say the chain and uh, two double crochet that means you go inside this space here yarn over the hook and you place three double crochets because it's the first row that when we started we placed you know three double crochets at the end. So you're going to repeat this uh, these rows. So you put there three double crochets. Okay, chain three. Okay, now you're gonna turn your work and again you have the chain three and uh, immediately come the comes the, the three double crochets. Maybe this way you remember, yeah. So you jump right away when you see like this, you jump right away to the space, yeah. Yarn over the hook and you go in there and you do three double crochets. And again nothing changes in the middle of the work until you reach the end. Okay, you move to the next space and you do three double crochets. Okay, the last one here. Okay, again you move to the space, you skip over this double crochet, cluster of double crochet, you move into the space and you do three double crochets. Yarn over the hook, you skip to the next space and you go in that space and you do three double crochets. Okay, again you're gonna skip this cluster of double crochet, yarn over the hook, go into the space and do a do three double crochets. Boy, this yarn doesn't want to cooperate. Mm. 
Okay, and now you reach the end, so you have three double crochets. Maybe this way you can remember that on top of the, you have the two double crochets, one, two, and then the chain three. So you go on top of the chain three and you do only one double crochet. Yeah. Go on top of that chain three, do a double crochet, chain three. Maybe you should leave this one a little bit loose since you're going to work into that. So again, you have the, the double crochet, the spacing between the next cluster. So automatically, maybe you remember to put in the first stitch here, two double crochets. Well, at least this is the way I remember. You know, each of us, we have methods to, to remember, especially when there are different rows to do. So you're going to skip this cluster of double crochet and go into this space and you do three double crochets and so on. It's very, very easy. So when you finish, for example, well, I have to do one more here. When you finish here, you're going to go into this space in here. You're going to insert your hook and do three double crochets, chain three and so on. It's really, really easy, really fast. And it's, you know, it's relaxing. You don't need to concentrate too much. It's just, you know, the, the beginning and the, the end of the, the row, you have to remember which one goes. It's a, you know, you place two double crochets or you jump to the next space. So you can make like this in, well, I'm not much of a changing colors. I like to work with this kind of uh, yarn that has uh, colors on it, then uh, change colors. It's just, no, it's too much trouble for me and my patience it's not there so you can make a scarf if you like it goes really fast i still have to to work uh, a lot i still have a lot to do with this uh, this scarf someone wanted uh, a scarf with this stitch so i'm working when i get tired of this one i'm moving to the to the other one that i have i'm working at this moment so yeah but it's very easy for you guys, the beginners, it's easy. So you can, uh, you can make blankets, blouses, hats, shawls, whatever you like to do. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day.